Welcome to The Book Club. You're here with Mercedes, Charmaine, and Autumn. All right, y'all. So this is the first time ever we're about to get into a discussion with our book for the month. So the first book that we're reading this month is called The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. And our first topic is relationships. So we're going to tie in the book, The Five Love Languages, to our topic, relationships. Mm -hmm. So Autumn, what's your opinion? Like before we get started with the book, like reading it, what do you think it's going to be about? I really think that it's just going to be about um, knowing your own emotions, knowing your partner's emotions and, and their boundaries with each other. So I'm pretty excited to open this book up and see what it's about. Yeah, I think, honestly, I was like previewing a little bit on the like background, you know, on the back of the book. I yeah. think it's exciting. I don't know. Just because I've been through relationships, long relationships, mm -hmm. short relationships, and it's kind of fun to like get like clarity on a topic. Yes. Right. And I'm pretty excited to kind of find out what my love languages are and just pretty much kind of discover myself and see how what my love, love languages are and how that has shown in my previous rela relationships right, and how that will go into maybe any future relationships that might yes. be out there. Right. And also, it could probably help because I know, okay, so the five love languages are what? Acts, acts of service. Acts of service. Quality, physical, physical touch. Quality time. Mm. Gifts. 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 Words of affirmation. And words of affirmation. Words of affirmation. Okay. Yeah. So just with those five. Right. What we're going to do, we're going to do a little fun activity here. So we're going to try and guess each other's love, love languages. languages, the top three. Okay. okay. okay? Yeah. So um, we'll, we'll, start we'll go with Charmaine. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 We're going with uh, so, Let's so see. So based on your previous relationships and things like that, um, I would say. Quality time. Quality time. Because you're clingy. And number gifts. one. Gifts? You think she likes gifts? Okay, I don't know about this. Maybe I think uh, physical words. touch. Oh, and words, words of affirmation. Okay, I, I I could agree with those. Okay, so we'll say quality, quality time, time, words of affirmation, and physical touch. and physical touch. I could agree with that. I could agree. Yeah, no okay. particular order, but those three. But those for three. sure. Okay, okay. So All I right. can kind of agree. Okay, so Otto, let's go Otto. Okay, okay. so based on <laughs> me knowing Otto. Okay, I'm just going to say straight up quality time because she is For definitely sure. clingy. Y'all call me clingy, but she's clingy. I'm clingy. Okay, clingy. so clingy. Autumn clingy. gets quality time, number one. Um, I gifts, would say number gifts. two. She definitely likes gifts. Yes, but who do. doesn't? I need okay. it. Right, right. Um, and what's the other ones? Mm, words, gifts. Words of affirmation, said that. Words of quality time. Mm. Physical Probably service. Acts of, acts of service. service. Yeah, put your money where your mouth is. Right. You don't play I, with that. Like exactly. You can sit here and say you all you want. You can sit here and say all you want, but... No, so acts of service, quality time, and gifts. Those right. are yours. Okay, okay. so let's okay. go to Mercedes. Don't be laughing at me. Okay, I'm just already laughing. Mercedes, we're not going to do quality time because she definitely... Well, I feel like if she really finds someone that she likes, she might like that quality time. Okay. You see what I mean? Like, But from what you've seen so far... No, you like no, quality time. No, I don't. I'm, I can't put your business out there like that. <laughs> okay, fine. Quality time. So I'm going to say quality time is definitely in um, there. Acts of service. Acts of service. And I don't think she cares about words of affirmation. She's very confident in who she is, yeah. so I don't think she needs somebody to keep on saying that. Um, we are said gifts, right? Gifts, because that and the... Quality know, time, acts of service, and gifts? Is that yeah. what you're saying? Okay. I can agree with that. Okay. What you think? All right. Whatever. Well, <laughs> we can't... <laughs> We can't really comment right now on what we think until we take the quiz. So right now, we're actually going to pause. We're going to come back for the results of each of us taking the quiz. Right, and see how close we uh, we are knowing our friends. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we're back, and we just finished taking the test. So yeah. now we're going to read each other's results to see if we were right or wrong. Yeah. All right, y'all, you ready? So for Charmaine's, her number one was quality time. And just they as said, we thought. As we yeah, said. they said quality time. Number two would be acts of service. Definitely acts of service. Okay. I said acts of service. I don't remember what hers were. Um, <laughs> I don't remember. And then the third one would be words of affirmation. Yeah. Yeah. We said So that your too. last one would be receiving, receiving gifts. gifts. That's literally, it has one next to it. And I don't physical really. touch. Yeah, because no. I don't it's care. Not, I am, I but not too. The PDA, no, though. not too much. She isn't to the. No, I think no, she I'm does not, PDA on purpose to piss me off, right? Because okay. it makes me uncomfortable. Exactly. Okay. Like I PDA around y'all for fun, in the but house, I don't be really doing that. Like public, I'm not. Don't right. really touch on me. Yeah. Don't do too. I see much. that because in public, y'all don't really be on each other. Like right, that. we're yeah, chilling. You guys be in the moment. Exactly. 
Like so, that's true. You just like to piss me off. I do. I like to mess. What's the truth? <laughs> okay, so Mercedes, her first one would be acts of service. They got that right. We said that. Yeah. They did. They Second did. would be quality time. I said that. Oh, yeah, I, didn't, I wouldn't think so. Yes, okay. it's because she really has to have somebody that she likes. Yeah. If she don't like nobody, she ain't gonna want to touch you. And so far, no, that's where what it's been. Right. <laughs> Okay, your third one would be physical touch. I see that. I see it too, because you like when like guys be like, you. I'll keep like when they're on you. Me but they don't and touch like, me. Yeah, then you're like, ah, don't touch me. Yeah. I don't like when other people touch me, but if you're my mans, then you can touch me. But everyone else, no, don't. don't I touch her all the time. Okay, okay. <laughs> touch her hey, okay, yeah. so the, yeah. so the last two that you had were receiving gifts and words of affirmation. I told you. That makes sense. She don't need nobody to tell her, oh, you're so yeah. beautiful, girl. Because she, she is know, Mercedes De La, De La Rosa. Rosa. Okay, that's okay. her number one line. I'm Mercedes De La Rosa. You are not going to tell me. Yes, <laughs> like, <that> girl, is. <laughs> Go sit down somewhere. All right, well, I'm glad they know. And now you know, so... All okay, right. so for mine, it was quality time is the first one. Right, which She's means, clingy. I'm clingy. Yeah, That's our first. They're the clingiest <laughs> ones here. Um, words of affirmation would be the second. I definitely need somebody to tell me, like, I don't She's know, just confirm, okay? Yeah. Just confirm that I'm... I think it's because, like, you like to just be on the same page as the person yeah. you know you don't want to be left out so you're like okay no like i need to know where we're at so that's the words of affirmation yeah. i don't really think it's for somebody to tell you you're beautiful anything. right exactly so we i just want to clarify that for everybody yes. who's like oh so she's insecure no no okay okay Period. Poop. so the third <laughs> would be acts of service right i which, see that which goes into put your money where your mouth is right mm-hmm. and we said that Action. one so we're actually yeah. pretty we're yeah, you guys are gay. Yeah, we, you know, guys we know each other. Yeah. And I think this is a fun thing to do with, like, if you guys have, like, groups of friends to do this with them. Yeah. Even if you're in a relationship with someone, if you really think you know them. Find out that man's right. love language. Right. Exactly. Because you might know that person for years, but then y'all sit down and do this. You thought you knew them. And then it comes out totally opposite. Mm-hmm. You really have to find out someone's love languages, even for a friendship. Right. Yep. I agree. Yep. I agree. And so, if you guys didn't know, for Instagram, mm-hmm. the first three people that actually take, the, take the test and submit your results to us, we want to do an Instagram live with you Yes, um, during yes. the week. So yes. Get your feedback. Yeah, because we really want to, you know, we're, this, we're just going to make this fun. Like, we really want to hear what people's love languages are. We really want to see discussion. open discussions all day. Your voice fun. wants to be heard. Okay. So, right. first three people. First three people. Comment below, message us, send us the stuff. We want to hear from you guys. Yeah. And we'll have the link don't to the shy. test. Right. We'll have the link to the test below as well. So don't think you have to look it up yourself. We're going to help you. But anyway, so we're going to get into a little bit of the reviews that we've seen before starting this. Right. From the book. Okay. So we'll start off with what? One bad review? Did yeah. Negative first. Okay. So the one bad review is somebody said, lol. Okay, from United States said, don't buy. They gave him one star. It's the cheesiest book I've ever read. Any book that uses the words love tank seriously is garbage in my eyes. Wow. Okay, That's you're it sound like a hater because what we What's wrong see, with love tank? <laughs> what we see, it's kind of interesting, but okay. Some people are into things like that. Yeah. I think that person probably had a closed mind going into it. Who so hurt anything, you? Right. Who hurt you? For real, because anything that you read, you should always have an open mind because even if you don't uh, fully agree with it, you still get something out of yeah, it. Yeah, you always learn something so, from reading the book. Right, right. Okay. So the one of the good reviews would be from Ariel from the United States as well. She gave it five stars. Good. She loves it all around. So helps you consider relationships in ways that you would never have done so otherwise. And she thinks that you can help any situation, even if you're totally happy in your relationship now. Wow, that's good. See, I'm excited. Yeah. yeah that makes me excited. Yeah. Super cool. So she said relationship or not, mm-hmm. it's pretty much a good book. Yeah, because you can use it with your friends probably too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she also mentions that there's an audio version of it too. I personally like audio better than reading because I get sleepy reading, but, you know, audio is always good. Yeah. So another one from Becca, she says she loves the book. She gives it five stars. Wow. And she ha- it has been a summer read for her and decided that it was helpful for a, hel- a self-help type of book. Good. Okay, she says that she recommends it to a friend and since she's not married, uh, she read as more as more as how to proceed in the future. See, okay. and that's good. That would go too. for me here. Yeah. yeah. Future relationships. Yeah. Because yeah. even if you're not in a relationship, it's still good to figure out like, 
you know, just what, what you're looking for, are. what your yeah. love language is. That it really helps to open your eyes about yourself, honestly, mm-hmm. not just about somebody else. And then communicate it like this is how I am as a person. Right. You know, and see if they can deal with it or not. Right. So have them do Yeah, that's job. cool. Cause she does say also, since I'm single, I reflected a lot on my past significant relationships and have realized a lot of problems Chapman spoke about in the book, counseled things that I encountered. Amazing read. I can't stop talking about it. So that's exciting. Hey. Okay. That gets me excited. Like very excited. Yeah. So you guys get the book. And we'll also have links as to where you can get it for cheap or where you can get it for free, free downloads, audible, um, as well as like library, whatever. We'll try and put as much resources as we can because we know we do not want to break anybody's budget when right. we are doing this. Literally, I did see online there was like a two dollar book. So yeah, guys, I seen that too. You can literally get it from <laughs> Goodwill or wherever. Right. And there's a free Audible as well. So like I said, I'll drop that link below in the description. Make sure that's there so you guys can do that as well. and Follow along with us, you know. Um, I'm excited. I'm pretty sure there's only like 12 to 13 chapters I've seen. Yep. It's not that long of a book. It's probably like 200, 300 pages max. Mm-hmm. Um, so it is something that you could read within a month. Um, right. Yeah, so about three, three chapters mm-hmm. a week to follow along with our podcast. Because every week we'll be dropping a new episode and relating it to the book. Yeah. So follow along, tune in, subscribe, follow, tweet, like, 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 yes. share, share, share. Message, we comment. cannot wait to hear from you guys. First three people to submit their results. We'll do an Instagram live with you during the week. Alrighty. Y'all have a good day. Bye.